Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. St. Luke records these words as the last sentence uttered by Jesus before his last human breath. Much earlier in the same gospel, we read the first and only recorded sentence uttered by Jesus as a 12-year-old boy. After three days of worried search, Joseph and Mary finally found him in the temple of Jerusalem, and to their gentle scolding, the boy Jesus simply responded, Must I not be found in my father's house? Both the first and last known words of Jesus of Nazareth revolved around the same person, God as Abba, an affectionate Aramaic address better translated in English as Daddy, in Spanish as Papa, in Tagalog as Itai. In this word, Abba, Jesus found his clearest and surest identity. If God is Father, then I am Son. And two amazing events in the Gospels sustained his conviction. At his baptism along the River Jordan, a heavenly voice addressed him with the words, You are my beloved Son, in whom I find my greatest delight. Later on, while Jesus was at prayer on a secluded hill, divine glory transfigured him. This time, the same heavenly voice addressed his disciples, saying, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. In recognizing God as Father, Jesus found his mission in life. God is not only my Father, but also the Father of all. That is why he sends me to be a brother to any and every other person. On this recognition of God as Father, Jesus based the one and only commandment he gave to all his followers. Love one another as I have loved you. In this spirit of fraternal love, Jesus not only gave his life for others on the cross, but even forgave all from the cross. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. The last words on the lips of Jesus was a prayer. The disciples remembered him as an outstanding man of prayer, so much so that one requested him in everybody's behalf, Lord, please teach us to pray. He answered by teaching them only one prayer. It begins with the words, Abba, Father. St. Luke's version of the Lord's Prayer records only five short petitions. Holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. Do not abandon us in temptation. Since the time of the early church fathers, this prayer of the Lord Jesus has been named Breviarium Evangelii, the summary of the gospel. On the cross, Jesus further sums up the spirit of this prayer, saying, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. 
the very last word of Jesus is then the summary of the summary of his own good news. On the cross, as Jesus faced death at the prime of his life, he felt being a total failure in completing his mission. Now his efforts seemed all in vain. Betrayed by a close friend, he hung on the cross, abandoned by his own followers, his closest ones. Now he felt utter loneliness. As he stood nailed and writhing in pain, he saw his mother and women friends watching and grieving at a distance. He felt so helpless at seeing how his suffering was causing still more suffering for his innocent beloved ones. Yet, amid all this chaos, the last word on the lips of Jesus was a prayer of total trust in God's fatherly providence. Thanks to this prayer, the final breath of Jesus was one of serene peace. That is why on the third day, when he appeared anew to his beloved followers, he breathed on them the first word as the risen Christ, peace be with you.